Borders are closed and flights globally are limited. There are more than a thousand Americans stuck in Peru right now trying to find a way back to the U.S. after the president there declared a national state of emergency, swiftly closing the borders. One of those Americans is a nurse from Gaston County. Her family now enlisting the help of local representatives to try and bring her home. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner has more on their efforts all new at six. The Neal family understands it could be a while before their daughter Kimberly is able to fly back into the Queen City. She was on a mission trip in Peru and is now stuck there. But as a nurse, they say her skills could be put to better use at home. Thousands of miles away from home in Cusco, Peru, Kimberly Neal is on lockdown because of COVID-19. There is a mandated curfew from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, there's no one allowed on the streets after that time or um, and only be allowed out of your houses or Airbnbs and bees to get food and or medication. It's become a ghost town. We have a bird's eye view of the city. There's no cars. There's no people. It's it's very bone chilling to see a city that was so vibrant a few days before to have nothing going on. She's a nurse and went on a mission trip, saving the lives of 21 kids who needed heart surgery. But now that the work is done, she'd rather be home. As a nurse, I'd love to be able to get back to be able to, to use my resources to help the people there. And also, I do want to get back to my family. It's been a little stressful. She's not alone. There's a Facebook group with hundreds of Americans in the same situation, sharing their stories and working with the State Department to find a way out. Kimberly's dad, Stephen, doing the best he can from Gaston County in touch with local legislators. They are in contact with the State Department. It's moving slowly, but I from everything we see, it's moving forward. We just don't have a timetable. Even though she is thousands of miles away from home, Kimberly says she is in a safe place and she doesn't regret going on that mission trip because of how many kids they were able to save. In Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.